Afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, first of all, huge apologies for uh, my lateness and no excuses, just uh, bad timekeeping. So, massive apologies. Uh, I'd just like to welcome you all here today um, for the second press conference um, for a championship boxing show that is going to be at the Liverpool Echo Arena on the 7th of December. Uh, we've got some fantastic new additions to the card to announce, um, as well as the three existing fights that were uh, three or three existing boxers that were already announced originally in the uh, in the three Smith brothers. Um, Headline with Paul Smith and Luke Blackledge for the Super Middleweight Championship of Great Britain. Stephen Smith will fight Gary Sykes for the Super Featherweight Championship of Great Britain. And Liam Smith will fight Mark Thompson for the Light Middleweight Championship of Great Britain. As you all know, there's three brothers, all, all British champions. Uh, it's the first time it's ever been done, and um, it's, you know, it's a bit of history in the making. And uh, you know, we're very proud to be behind it, and, and, uh, and the promoters behind these three uh, fantastic fighting brothers. Also on the card, we have Paul Butler against Ruben Montoya. Paul is um, you know, he's setting the world on fire, as far as I'm concerned. He's um, one of the most, most, the most exciting talents in the UK, certainly in Europe, if not worldwide. Um, he's getting accolades from all over the globe, and rightly so. He trains like no one I've ever seen. Um, he's always in the gym, absolutely dedicated, and you can see it paying off fight by fight. He's improving fight by fight, and whatever Arnie's doing in the gym with him, he's certainly paying dividends. We'd also like to announce uh, Stephen Ormond and Derry Matthews for the WBO European Lightweight Championship. Uh, delighted to announce uh, that Derry signed with us on, um, on a long-term promotional deal. Um, Derry started his career uh, under my, my father's uh, promotional banner, um, I wouldn't say too many years ago, but um, quite a few years ago. And um, glad to have him back. He's, you know, he's never in a dull fight, and this one certainly isn't going to be any different. Stephen's you know, making great pace uh, through the rankings, and you know, he's um, delivering decent performances every time you know, he steps out into the ring. They're getting better and better. And, um, Hats off to these two guys for taking this fight. I know I think they could have both, you know, gone, gone an easier route, but they both wanted it. They both said absolutely, bang on, we'll have it. And um, you know, Derry's got home advantage, but um, I'm sure Stephen will be looking to come over here and upset his party. Also on the bill, we have a fantastic fight between two of our prospects for the vacant WBO European Light Middleweight Championship in Joe Selkirk and Ronnie Heffron. Where's Ronnie? Where's Bennett? Ronnie's um, back on track. He's got his um, bug back, I think, for boxing. Um, you know, I think he took his, uh, the night against Denton for self quite badly, and rightly so, because he didn't want to be feel, feeling like that, like that. He knows what it feels like to, uh, to have a defeat, and um, you know, he assures me that he never wants to feel like that again. <coughs> um, Joe's look, well, I was hoping he would be here today, but um, he's not. But um, he's, you know, he's, he wants to kick on as well. He's um, been a bit inactive through injuries and a few other various reasons, but um, this is a great fight and um, you know, the winner can really kick on. We also have on the bill Craig Evans, Liam Williams against Tony Booth, Tyan Booth, sorry, Matty Fagan, another local lad, against Yusuf Al-Hamidi, Josh McLaren against Gareth Piper, Liam Cullen against Moses Matuvu, Kieran McVarnock against Jonathan Fry. It's a full packed card, um, you know, you've got any of those top five fights could quite rightly headline any show, but you know, we've managed to put, put it together and we've got five, all, five title fights all in one night, six title fights all in one night. All the guys are here, um, if you could just one by one, just say a few words and, um, and then open the, floor to, <coughs> to, open the floor to questions. I um, got to be there today, got to get the opportunity, I think it's all you, and I might well to take it, I'm not, I know I've got the, he's got the advantage in his own town, but I'm going to come over here and take it. Yeah. Yeah, I just you know, I can't wait for it to come. You know, the F Arena it's a great build to be on and you know, I've had many good nights in the F Arena so hopefully it continues. 
Why don't you say a few words, please, mate? Yeah, I'm just looking forward to the fight against Joe Selkirk. It's a step up, but it's, I've got a um, good notice for the fight. Just looking forward to the fight against him. Well, yeah, it's a big opportunity to box at the Echo Arena again on uh, such a big bill with all the brothers on it. So uh, we're looking to defend my WBO title and pick up a WBA title and push up the ranks and see where we go from there. Stay. Look forward to fighting this fight with Diego Reina. Big fight me and Terry's a big name and I look forward to it. You ready for the win? Can't we? I'm just delighted to be big part part of the team. Um, it's long overdue that, you know, I'm fighting in my own city on a regular basis and hopefully you know, long may continue but I've got to take Stephen very serious. As you said, I'm a bigger name than him but I can't be taking him lightly at all. I've got to train hard, prepare the best I can prepare him. And as long as whatever it takes to get the W really and just you know we can move on then and, and hopefully we'll be back to the arena in the future. Thanks guys. So let's uh, open the floor to any questions. Derry, there was talk of you fighting Kevin Mitchell. What persuaded you to go in this direction now? This one. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just you know, listen, it was you know, I'm happy that I've done done what I've had to done what I've had to do. Um I've signed a great contract with Francis and you know, I, I don't care who, who you are. I don't think you'd have been able to match it, and, and you know, and I'm delighted to be to be back where you know where I, I feel I'd be I'd be longer. You know, I'm in I'm in a bit of the limelight, and I'm, I've been under the, the public eye. And you know, I spoke to my team closely, George and Danny, and they they advised me, you know, to to go with the opportunity what I've been offered, and you know, I'm, I'm just delighted to be back to be back, and hopefully, you know, this just the start of a big things for me with Box Nation and with France as well. No, it was definitely um, when I went, it became clear that Derry was, you know, a free agent and available to, um, to you know, to make an approach to. It was, you know, it was a no-brainer, especially with the show coming up. But um, you know, it's just, uh, it's a fantastic signing for us, and you know, adds to a very good lightweight stable. I don't, I don't think like many people realise. Well, I've been like a free agent for three years. Everyone thought that I was under contract with Dave Caldwell and I was signed with Eddie Hearn or, or with Dave, but I've never signed a contract, I've never been under contract with anyone. And, and you know, and Francis just took the opportunity to sign for, for Francis and for, for to be on Box Nation. So, you know, as I said before, it's made it long may continue and be good. Did you actually get an official offer for, for Mitchell, Dave? Yeah, I thought it was a stupid one. And, and you know, I think it was a fight. I think they offered me the fight because I don't think they they wanted it, and that's why they offered me. I think it was a terrible offer what they made me, and and it wasn't so much what they offered for the fight. It was what comes after. It. How many matching fighters do we have to beat? Because you know, Gavin Reese beat me, but he beat me just before he boxed Adrian Broner, so he was at the he was at his prime. And you know, why why does <coughs> Kevin Mitchell go and fight Gavin Reese or Andy Crawler or Tommy Coyle? And, why do you use me? And I'm not going to let it happen. And you know, and, uh, as I said, if it, what, what's one of them with me? If we get beat, where do we go from there? And Kevin Mitchell's a tough fight, but for the money and what they offered it for, and where it went after it was was terrible. Teddy, you know you said you're going to take this fight, more, this fight more serious. Do you think Stephen's a better opponent than most of the boxers you've fought up to now? So, I mean, I, I rate him better than Curtis Woodhouse. A lot better than Curtis Woodhouse, and. You know, that's no disrespect to Curtis because he's a good fighter and, you know, Stephen, I've, I've watched Stephen the last couple of days and, you know, he's a game fighter, comes to win and the loss he's got on his record, I thought he won that fight. Um, my team thought he won the fight and even I think the old, I think it was in Scotland, the old of Scotland thought, yeah. thought he won that fight, I thought he won it very convincingly and I'm Paul Appleby's mate, I speak to him every day in the gym but, you know, he never won that fight against Stephen and, you know, I've just got to, I've got to take, him, take him very serious. The right preparation, going away next week to Scotland or two weeks to Scotland, and we're off over to Spain. I think we're going. To, we might even take a trip to America for some sparring. So you know, I've got to take it serious. And you know, if we get beat to Stephen, it's going to be our daddy only. You know, we got beat to, to a lesser guy, but I can't look at him that way. Stephen, how much it helps you being busy the last few weeks going into a tough fight like this? It's great, you know, because I need I need the rounds on my belt the last year, you know, but. Terry's a big name and we'll be ready, you know, it's going to draw you more and try and hurt her. And yeah, uh, look for the win, you know. Would you like to get the chance to be making your name back in Dublin instead of coming over here all the time? Well, I don't mind. 
I'm used to going away and fight, you know, in people's backyards. That's the way it is. And at the end of the day, it's only me and him in the ring. You know? Terry, can I ask a question? I'm just saying, yeah. welcome back to the um, promotion. It's, it's a hard fight for a first fight back. I'm surprised you took on such a big opponent. So I'm just curious to know, you think a big opponent, would I be rewarded if I you know, win this fight? Have you got a big fight lined up for me? Because to me, it's a, it's, it's a tough fight and it's a big risk. But it must be something that, you know, if you're successful here, have you maybe got a title fight at the end of this? You hope you get through. Why, Steve? I'm fighting for, for, fight for Steven's title, so. No, that's what I want. I'm here to, to fight the best. I've never ducked out of a out of a tough fight. I, I've always liked to to like the like to fight the best, and you know it's about entertaining people as well. And you know this fight, it's it's got everything in the making to be a, to be a great fight. And you know, and Stephen's style and my style will clash well, and it'll be it'll be a good fight. But you know, I, I've got a I've, I've set myself a target. I want to be I want the British title. I want the European title, and, and then we'll go from there. But you know, beating Stephen. It's going to start, start hopefully, the things, the big things. I just want to say, I respect you coming back and think it's a tough fight, and I respect you coming in. Cheers, and thanks. And, um, it's going to be a great fight, and you both have very similar styles, and you're very similar in other ways, and, and uh, honestly, personally, I believe the winner of this fight definitely has kind of won something big, because it's a very exciting fight. You know? uh, and, and of course, the, you know, the, the exciting night, but this fight in particular, and I'm in Stephen's corner, so it's more exciting yeah. for me, but uh, I'm just saying, you know, Good luck to two of you, it's going to be a great fight, Cheers. very similar in style and, and um, I don't think the public is going to have to you two, you know, when they come see it, they come see it, they have fight and, and they have to go to it, you know. Cheers, Steve. You know, good luck to you both. Francis, any doubts about Stephen Smith's part in, in the bill for you on, on the show? No, I mean, long short of it is that he's under contract. Um, the, the board have sanctioned and approved the fight and the date. Um, and as a, well, to, you know, the, the board sent letters out to Stephen, um, to Steve Wood, Gary Sykes' promoter and manager, um, and to Queensbury Promotions, and to, and to my father, verifying and, and confirming the contracts were intact and, and valid. So, as far as we're concerned, the fight is on the 7th of December, and we're very much looking forward to it. Have you spoken to him, or...? I haven't personally, no. Ronnie, you know, you had a little bit of a wobble after your last fight. You think this is a good fight for you to come back to? Yeah, it's a good fight. Yeah. It's just something I'm looking forward to. Like after the Vassal fight, I only added like three weeks' notice for that, so this one I've got eight weeks, so it's a good fight for me. Liam, was the hardest um, thing win the title? Would it be defending it tough? Defending it, I've always said, if you ask any of my brothers, you ask Calm over there, I've always said, you know, I think a real champion proves it when he defends his title, so I'll always stick, stick by that. And, you know, I'll say in that way, I'll say in again as if I was a challenger, but. You know, I'll defend that title. Have Mark and yourself sparred at all? No, no, no. no. We, never, we never sparred, you know. We, yeah. No, I thought you would have been in the same area. And... No, never sparred. Mark, you must feel this chance has been a long time coming to you had your break from boxing. And then when you lost last year in Germany. Yeah, that's how you want to see a loss, but uh, I think I've got a lot of Yeah, bad, bad decision over there. Do you know what I mean? I had a lot of time out. I always moved over to this camp. It was only within three weeks before we took that fight. Um, like now, we've got this chance to come over. I've got a long training camp with him. Every fight we've took, me and Arnie, we've had a few weeks' notice. We've got a full, we've had a good four, eight weeks from this one. So we're ready and we're confident we can do it. Paul, do you think you'll get the chance to defend your British title at all? Not looking likely at the moment. <laughs> I'm uh, defending my WBO uh, Intercontinental title and challenge for the WBA, I think. Um, I'm going to start pushing off for world rankings and see where we go from there. But we've definitely got a superstar in the making in Paul. Like Absolutely. It's just um, very exciting to watch. Um, just, you know, and the dedication is what, what absolutely sells it for me, just, you know, more than anything. Apart from you know, the natural talent, but you've got to pair that with living the life, and, and he does that in, in absolute abundance. He's got a great support network around him as well. Um, I don't think I've actually been in the same room with Paul without his dad being there. So, uh, you know, he's, he's got everything, everything going for him to uh, make a big success for himself. Any more questions? Right, thanks very much for coming and for your patience. Thanks very much. It's going to be that fast, you know what I mean? So, and he's got to you know, get the timing, hand eye coordination, catch a body shot, catch a body shot, catch the hooks, catch an uppercut, catch the body shot, then the hooks. You know, it's just 
used a warm-up technique 